Oh, hi. Okay. Hey, guys. My name is Laura Love. I am a family nurse practitioner. And this month, December 2020, well, I guess, yeah, December 2023 marked three years as a nurse practitioner. And I always love watching what's in my bag. So here I have my Kate Spade work briefcase and I wanted to tell you what's in my bag because when I was going through school I always wanted to see what was in everyone's bag. So I specialize in family. I have my FMP board certified by the ANCC and I currently work in a adult outpatient primary care setting. I have a patient panel of about a thousand patients and I do primary care all day. So there we manage a lot of different things um, from very mundane to pretty much some critical stuff. So I'm not administering critical drips or anything, but you can manage some pretty hefty things in an outpatient primary care setting prior to going to specialty as you work them up. So today, let me begin. This is my Kate Spade briefcase, okay? So I love it because it was like a, like a maroon brown but it looked classy it's leather and but it's made like their type of pebbled leather and this is the leather one um, i did get it on a discount but it's got the nice metal stamp of the kate spade it's got like a metal tipped kind of tag on it and all the accents are in gold so you have your handles that you can have up or down they don't get in your way they can fold easily she has feet so if you want to put her down on the ground you also have your strap to carry her around and to be honest with you it's just mainly from the car to my office and so there are lots of pockets um, I was actually thinking about how I was gonna do this this will be my first video so I hope you like it and follow for more but I was amazed at all the different things that I can keep in it. So uh, let's uh, begin. So just to get a kind of picture of like the inside, there's a lot of different things that you can fit in there. So one of them that isn't what I normally carry in my briefcase, but I did want to show you guys, I had a stamp made. So it just has my name and credentials and no, I don't use it as like a signature stamp, but when I fill out a lot of different paperwork and it asks for the printed name, I just like to, if I can't type it out, I like to print it out because I just think it's a classy finish and it just has my name and my, you know, MSN, APRN, and then my light, my actual degree and then that I'm board certified. So I'll talk about in a video how to write your credentials. There's a lot of talk about it. <laughs> Some peers of mine and I have been discussing it, but I'll, it's interesting how everybody all over the U.S. writes their credentialing differently. But anyway, so that is a um, different video. But I loved it, number one, because I love pink. And although I can't video at my job, I would love to maybe bring everything at home and show you what is in my drawers. But I have it organized. And a lot of my inserts are pink just because the office is you know, pretty sterile looking, not a lot of color, professional. So in my drawers though, I have it like spiced up. So that's what I like. So here's this, my stamp. And maybe before we go, I will show you like how it actually stamps out. So I can't wait to upgrade it with my new credentials that I'm getting about to graduate with my doctorate here in May. Wow, a long time coming. Can't wait to make more videos about that and share with you my journey and what to anticipate and expect and why you should get your doctorate. Cause I think you should, why not? So next I have some cream, gold bond. I wash my hands so much throughout the day, I have to stay hydrated. So, you know, after every patient, before patients, I wash my hands and sanitize. So gold bond, I feel kind of keeps my hands moisturized. Otherwise they get super dried out. Okay, gum. So um, when you're not with patients, to be professional, but if you're just charting away, this ice cube, I have it in every flavor. It is the best gum and it actually makes the best bubbles. So, I mean, like if you, I'm going to have to show you later how great of a bubble it makes, but whenever you're just, you know, diligently charting away, mundane, I find it fun, interesting to kind of freshen up my breath and give me some gum. So these are the little cubes. You can get them at Walmart. They come in like a pack of one, two, three, or you can get, you can get more. This one is pina colada. So if you want to have fun with all the booze at work, you can get some pina colada gum. <laughs> 
So this is one of my journals. I am not 100% digital. Um, I don't believe I'll ever be there. There's just something about writing and, you know, your actual handwriting. I mean, there's just something about it. So it's so personal to a lot of people, but I love this planner because it has everything out in months. So I'm a very visual person and a lot of times I am planning and scheduling things and I like to be able to see it on paper. Also, like I can write down and manage what's due when. I know a lot of people are digital, but I normally get this once a year. You can get it at Barnes & Noble. It runs about like $14. It is leather and it also has gold accents on the side. And I keep a lot of other things in the back. Like I just recently wrote my 2024 goals, um, things to keep me on track this year. So I'm excited for that. All right. So next I have kind of wrapped up is just my phone charger. Um, I can't say more about that. We need to have our phone. I have a family. I need to be in touch with them. I have a lot of things going on throughout the day. So definitely my C4 charger. I'm an Android. Comment down below if you're Apple or Android. So I'm pretty sure everyone these days has a cord everywhere. So then, um, you know, I normally have like, oh, so here, this is my dragon. So a lot of people who don't know what this is, it's a dragon dictation device. My job gave this to, well um lets me borrow it right so you sign it out and this is by nuance so if your job isn't you know able to provide you with this you can buy this online it is a little bit pricey it can get up into like the three four hundred dollars depending upon what um, which one that you get but you want to get the most recent one so what will happen is this will plug into your device you've got your usb port and whenever you go to dictate, you're gonna go ahead and press this button, it'll turn red, and then you can literally dictate to chart. So the one thing about the handheld though, if you, ha if you have a thick accent or um, it will learn you, this will learn you better, I feel, than the headset. So it comes in a headset that kind of comes on with a little mouth piece there, or you can have this. And there's different lengths of cords. So I think mine was six feet. Um, looking back at when I chose, you know, told my HR like, or my IT department, which one that I needed, um, there's three feet, there's six feet. And so luckily I was enough to get the six feet cause I didn't know maybe I would be like dictating lean back in my chair, but I just got a little sticker off of Etsy. I'm all about pink. Like I said, so there are my initials LLL. So, and you know what, even though it's for my company, I can easily remove the stickers. There's no residue. It can come off with alcohol, no damage. And it's got all the information that I can give it right back. So another video, I can teach you how to do a bunch of dot phrases to where you can make your charting so simple. So I can literally be like insert knee exam where it would have everything into your physical assessment for your knee or insert diabetic education or insert whatever you would like to put in there. Um, and so you could, I do a lot for common things that I chart about diabetes or hypertension or CHF or just, you know, rhinitis. Like you could put in anything you want in here. I, I'd have to look at the specifics, but that's a whole nother video that we could just talk about dot phrases for your dragon and how to train your dragon. So definitely something that can make your life simpler. I honestly have not mastered it as of yet. I'm still working on trying to be as efficient as I, as I can, even three years later. So we'll work on that together. But those of you that have mastered the dragon, any key points, leave your comments below. <laughs> so you've seen my dragon now. All right, and then here is actually my laptop charger, okay? And my, go and my um, job actually, issued me out or like a rinse out a laptop. So I have about a 15 inch laptop that I take to and from work, very basic black, but it basically replaces my modem. So if I need to be able to chart at home, I have an agreement that I can chart at home and log on at off hours to where if I need to catch up on notes or charting that I'm able to do that. So then I've got my wallet. So always need to have your wallet. Um, oh, this is actually a headset. I don't think it's a particular, so this one isn't a nuance, but so this one is Jabra, but if you have the Dragon Dictation downloaded to any device, you can dictate into here as well. 
So you're gonna feel like you work at at and You're gonna take this and you can plug it into your device. And here you'll have settings, volume, you can actually answer calls or hang up calls. I don't take any calls. Um, I do have video visits that I do and phone appointments. So, but normally no one's ever gonna be incoming call me. That's all secure on like a video software that we have at work. So here's that. Comes in like a little handy dandy case. Then I have my sunglasses. Um, a lot of times our jobs are so sedentary where we sit a lot and you know especially being the outpatient study setting in an office so definitely i encourage you to get outside and get some vitamin d get walk around get your blood circulating and always of course use your eye protection um, definitely want to try to avoid any eye damage <laughs> randomly i have a walkie talkie not for work at all um my sister has one and i've been meaning to see how far our <laughs> walkie talkies actually go so are you there can you hear me okay i'll take it up one day it's not charged but It'd be something fun. See how long our distance can go. Then I've just got some lip gloss. Um, you know, being at our jobs, we have to talk all the time. And I feel like my mouth, you know, I just get dehydrated. Oh my gosh, the water's so good. And then I just stay, <laughs> uh, keep my mouth nice and hydrated with my lip balm. Okay. I know everybody's about Stanley's this year. Um, I wish I could show you the Stanley's that I got for my nurses. I just had to get Stanley's, everybody got Stanley's um, for presents, sister and mom included. And I'll have to show you the little name tags that we got. That's a whole other video. Okay, randomly an Apple charger because my daughter has an iPad and sometimes I have to bring this with me. So the nice thing about this bag, I've got one other creme de la tray that I want to show you. But the nice thing about this bag is it has... Like here, I just bring some other papers here. It's got a nice big center where I put my computer and it's padded. And then that also clips on it. And then you have more pockets here. I think I've got some Subway coupons in there. Some Fortnite stuff for my kids. Uh, I must have snuck that in there. Some Redbox. <laughs> Not work related at all. But something interesting. I'm sure any mom or anybody that has a bunch of kids or you know, just has a bunch of people in life in their general might have a bunch of things in their bags. So this side matches the other side. And on the back, there's also like another pocket. You could probably fit like a small iPad in there. And it also has like, you can't really see it, but it's like an iridescent kind of sheen with Kate Spade logo on it, like neutral. So I love this bag. Before I had a Mary Lily bag and I'm not dogging Mary Lily. I love Mary Lily. I just felt like this was more professional and I always get compliments on my bag. So I love that. So here's the last thing um, within my bag. So I just went ahead and got like a clear bag off of Amazon and then I went off of Etsy. I don't have a Cricut or anything, but I had them print off my initials on there. Just LLL and again, a pink. I love pink. So... I'll show you what I have in here. So here is something that I use um, often, um, just the Emra. Emra has a lot of different books and I'll talk about books that I like to reference for, you know, when you're first setting out working, things that you can reference. You always wanna utilize your resources, of course, up to date and things like that. But I really like this Emra book um, in the back. It'll have your actual chart there where you can look and see the microbial, like which um, antibiotic goes for what. So if you get a culture and sensitivity, you can actually look and see if it's going to cover it or if it's not. Always utilize your pharmacist if you have one. And then, of course, utilize up to date if you need to. But when you're first starting out and learning, I love this because it breaks it down based upon system. And for my books, if you look here, you can see my stamp. So it may be a little bit backwards here, but I love being able to stamp my books just because a lot of times, you know, people have sticky fingers. So I have residents that I teach and everything, but it's nice just to have, you know, my professional stamp on my books um, that I have or if I lend out. <clears throat> so there's, of course, um, I'll link down below where you can find this book. There's, of course, a new edition. This was kind of old. Um, a lot of our antibiotic regimens don't really change as often as a lot of other medications. There are, you know, definitely up to date with your pharmaceutical knowledge, but here it kind of lists it out um, systematically. So it could be skin, it could be upper respiratory, it could be UTI, complicated, non-complicated. You've got dental abscess, you know, what to do for cellulitis, an animal bite, things like that. And it'll even give you 
um, IV versus outpatient, and some pearls of wisdom for each. So I highly recommend the EMRA books. There's a bunch of different ones. They have EKG ones, they have musculoskeletal, they have acute care, they have a bunch. But here you can see that's how it, well, I guess it's backwards. But it's got it bone and joint, cardiovascular, central nervous system, ear, nose, and throat, I, GI, GU, pulmonary, skin and soft tissue, bioterrorism, environmental exposures, um, immune compromised host infections, occupational post exposure uh, prophylaxis. Those would definitely be updated um, in your most, you know, recent edition. Pediatric infections, sepsis, and you've got all your appendices there. All right, so next in my bag, I love to highlight, um, and I just went on Amazon and I got these pastel highlighters uh, for my journal. If I ever show you a video on my journal, I love highlighting my journal with different things. Again, I'm still stuck in the paper world and probably will be for a very long time, but I have those there. I got this little tape measure off of Timu. Um, you can wipe it down if you need to clean it, but for the most part, it has centimeters, which is what you're going to likely chart in for in, um, lacerations, lesions. Um, is, is it going to be below or bigger than, you know, 0.1 centimeter or not? And then if you're measuring with this, that might be, <laughs> that might be a trauma. But anyway, you have this, something quick and easy, little that I can take with me. I can put easily in my desk and take it out when I need to. I'll normally have my bag right by my side and just like dip into it. All right. So I have a fancy like little key holder. I haven't transferred mine over yet, but I think I saw this at the dollar store. How cute is that? Put your keys on there. So right now this is my current one. And you know, you just have your keys. You got a, a lip gloss holder. So whenever I'm running to lunch or if I got to go to the cafeteria or get a snack or something, I can just, you know, have my lipstick because I'm I feel like I'm constantly parched. Um, so definitely office keys. You want to lock them for HIPAA reasons and have access to them. You don't want to lose those. Very important. So I'm going to switch that over to my glitter one. And I'm going to take out my actual badge, but this is my badge buddy. So like any uh, facility that you would work at, it would have what you are. And then on the back, it have like quick references for your facilities codes um, and my actual badge. I'm not going to show that, but I have that there. Um, here I have just a little medicine things. I unfortunately suffer with migraines, so I've got some Imitrex in here for when I need it. You know, definitely make sure that I have some coffee and Motrin. But for me, I always have to make sure that I have that. So it's just a cute little medicine holder. So it's feel good. I think I got this on Amazon. It was like $3 years and years and years ago. Uh, I got my earbuds. Um, they're noise canceling ones by Google. Like again, I'm an Android girl. So if ever I'm at home and kids are loud, but I want to be in the same room as them and you know, I've already spent my time with them, but it's like, Hey, I'm going to do my work. I can put these in and not hear them. Even if I'm not listening to music, they cancel it so good. So thank you, Google. That also takes a Seaport charger and I really just kind of use it when I need to, or if I'm walking around outside in a nice sunny day, you can jam to your tunes. Um, I am totally like a pen hoe. <laughs> so I went on Etsy and I had these pens made and basically triple L as you've seen my initials everywhere. It's got the glitter with the cheetah print. I like it also. Um, it just writes really well. I just like it. And then I actually went to, oh my gosh, where is it? Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel has these adorable pens for like $1.25. So they screw off, they're black, black ballpoint pen, and I just love them. It's just like something cute. I don't know, I find happiness in the small things. So I've definitely got that. And I've got some lip glosses. So I'm all about nudes, light blushes. So I've got those there, because if I'm constantly talking, I'm drinking water and I'm parched. So there you have it. You've seen what's all in my nurse practitioner bag. I would love to see what's in your bag. What do you bring? What do you think is the most comfortable thing to use while you're at work? I'd love to know. I think it's really fun talking to each other and just having an open communication about what we do on our daily routine as, you know, everything we can do to have a little bit of extra fun is good. I did want to do a plug for my website. I created Precept Now. It's for nurse practitioners and nurse practitioner students. So it's for you. Everything is free. Log on. You can find you a preceptor, connect 
connect with other students, create study groups, have continuing education. And right now we have MedMastery, who is our affiliate, who is through us. So go ahead and join. What it'll do is you just go to www.preceptnow.com, enter in your information if you're a student or if you're licensed. You do have to have a license of some sort to be on it. So if you're RN in an MP school, you use your RN license, or if you're a paramedic or LPN, RN, etc. So if you're a resident, a physician, MD, DO, you are welcome. Uh, we have a lot of educational lectures on there, and I would love to see you there. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Until next time. All right, be good. Bye.